Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. This is a note I received in my WhatsApp chat naked. I want to share my story and I want to find out if other patients going to the Randolph Phillip Polyclinic experience what I have there last week. Well, she's saying that she became very sick and has severe pain and a fever, so she wasn't taking any chances, so she went over to the polyclinic. When her name was called, it was a Caucasian doctor, and she went in to see her, and the first thing she noticed is the doctor was sitting far across the room from her, but that was strange, but it didn't but she didn't let it bother her. She just thought it was strange. And then when she told the doctor of her complaints of fever, pain, cold sweats, bad feeling, vomiting, and weakness, the, the doctor never touched her, but told her it's probably food poisoning. And the doctor sent her out without touching her or giving her meds, okay? She sent her along without touching her or giving her meds. Okay, she took the, a turn for the worst and she was rushed to the QEH, Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth Hospital with appendicitis. Now, this person wants to know if there's a person that is working at the polyclinic who's not cut out for the job if she's not cut out for the job of like interacting and having a physical touch here and there, checking the heart rate, checking to see if someone has a fever, you know, she's she wants to know, you know, how is it that this has happened at the polyclinic where sometimes you do have to touch the patient, okay? And um, that's it, that's it for this. She could have lost her life. Yeah, that's it for this. But yeah, do you know of this particular doctor at the Randolph Phillip Polyclinic? Do you know of that person? And, you know, sometimes when you're taking money, sometimes when Barbados, Barbados is taking money from a lot of places, you know, uh, World Health Organization is probably giving them some medicine. You know, you know the I you already know the IMF and other agencies out of America you're taking a lot of money from America and probably other jurisdictions. So when that happens, they're sending their people in. They are going to send their people in. So you can go to, for instance, you can go to the hotel in St. Philip and see someone Caucasian in a, in a big position there and they can hardly speak English. Or you could go to the QH and see people there that can hardly speak English. You can go to any sort of governmental running place in Barbados and you will see someone that looks kind of uh, like other place, other place and can hardly, I, I'm surprised they can even understand the Bayesians when they speak, but they're there. They are there in positions and that's because when you take money from people, they send their people in to keep, keep an eye on things. That's it, that's basically it. They, they send their people in to keep an eye on things. This is Sherry Veronica.